students i am ms sofia sheik your science teacher and today we will be learning the second chapter of the standard 6 pratibha international school that is components of food hope you all are safe at home and following the precautions for the protection of from the disease corona virus so children stay safe and stay at home so in this chapter we will be learning about the components of food that we eat introduction our body needs energy to do work we get this an energy from the food we eat right so food is therefore the fuel which is used to give us energy food contains different essential components that we need to live and grow these are known as nutrients nutrients gives us energy and protects us from diseases the essential nutrients are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals and fiber so you need to remember these are the parts of the food first is carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins and water you need to remember this pyramid these are the main components of our food that we eat carbohydrates now we will be learning one by one in detail what are carbohydrates these are energy giving nutrients carbohydrates contains contains of carbon hydrogen and oxygen we get carbohydrates from foods like butter rice potato chapatis and sugar glucose and fructose and also starch are some forms of car- carbohydrates the biggest portion of our diet consists of these carbohydrates the next is fats fats are the energy reservoirs of our body when we consume carbohydrates more than required our body stores the excess carbohydrates as fats and lipids so when the carbohydrates are extra our body stores it in the forms of fats and lipids these are stored just below our skin we get fats from foods like butter cheese and oils fat acts as a insulators and keep our body warm they protect the organs of our body so the fats are of two types first one is vegetable fats and animal fats vegetable fats it is found in oils made from plant products such as coconut mustard and groundnut whereas animal fats are the fats which are found in milk products like butter ghee meat fish etc that are these products are obtained from animals right so these are called animal fats the next component is proteins proteins are necessary to help the body to grow and be strong they help repair damages in the body they are made of amino acids these are these are made of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus we get proteins from me- meat eggs fish pulses cottage cheese that is paneer and some dry fruits proteins form the major component of all the living things because they help in the wear and tear of the body means they are the body builders of our body F- but they are also f- classified in two types that that is first class proteins as they contain all the amino acids and are of obtained from animal products and the second is second class proteins as they do not contain all the amino acids and are from plant products so they are inferior and they are called as second class proteins next is vitamins these are required in very small quantities vitamins are essential to ensure the proper functioning of a body minerals like vitamins minerals are required by our body in small quantities all of them have particular functions to perform in the body fibers the food we eat contains some of the nutrients in varying proportions however there is a component in food which cannot be digested and this is called roughage or fiber we get fiber from foods like fruits and green vegetables so even though our diet or the food we eat contains the nutrients there is a part called fibers which cannot be digested and it helps in the um excretion process that is the removal of waste from the body 
so it is also necessary and part of our diet fibers next is water it is the most as water makes up almost 70% of our body weight and it is the most essential and a basic need of living things we human beings so water plays a very important role in the body's system it transports food waste chemicals and gases through the body in the digestive system water helps to break down the food Water removes waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat. Sweat also helps the body to stay cool. Every day our body loses some amount of water in the form of urine and sweat. Also, as water vapor when we breathe out, yes children, we lose water through breathing too. This water is replenished by water by the water in the food we eat. also when we drink liquids replenished means it is again taken back or provided to the body we need to drink about 8 glasses of water every day to stay healthy yes children from now on you make sure that you eat you drink 8 glasses of water per day if a person loses too much of water that is while playing or working in the hot sun his body gets dehydrated which causes the blood to become thicker and causes severe pain and cramps in the body also many a times if a person is dehydrated he gets a sunstroke or collapses or loses the balance of the body right so this all this happens due to less amount of water or the dehydration thing so doctor gives us the electrolytes or the liquids or tells us to drink juices or wo- more water for fulfilling the required amount of water in our body now we will see deficiency diseases up till now we saw all the components of our food let us uh, now study the deficiency diseases deficiency is the lack of all these nutrients means uh all nutrients are required the by the body in specific quantities thus the food we eat should have the right proportion needed nutrients by our body no food contains all the nutrients thus it's essential to eat a balanced diet what is a balanced diet a balanced diet is a diet that contains all the nutrients in adequate proportions it varies according to the occupation age height and weight of a person so you all need to have a balanced diet for the proper functioning of your body so if you eat a balanced diet you will not require or you will stay healthy and you will not be prone to diseases so this is the eat well plate that is what all you must include and what is a balanced diet so balanced diet doesn't mean that you will eat only carbohydrates or only fats or only proteins no you need everything in proper proportions see here you can see a portion of carbohydrates fruits and vegetables and uh, then the meat products dairy products all this will lead you to a balanced diet and you will stay healthy now we will see the deficiencies children i told you now we will see the deficiency what is deficiency it is the lack of the proteins or the state where you your body doesn't get enough of the nutrients that is required so deficiency of carbohydrates now we'll see the def- deficiency of carbohydrates too little carbohydrates in the diet lead to weakness and tiredness it causes physical and mental stress over children overeating carbohydrates also makes people overweight and obese obesity leads to the heart problems and diseases so you need to maintain the proper balance of the carbohydrates if too little it leads you to weaknesses but overeating will make you fat and obese which will lead to heart problems and diabetes now the deficiency of proteins and fats undernourished people especially children suffer from maintain malnutrition due to protein deficiency the type of disease called kwashiorkor a protein deficiency 
a protein deficiency in children that leads to slow and physical mental development as you can see in this picture it leads to the body structure where the ch children have round belly but skinny hands and legs next is marasmus it is another same kind of disease that children suffer from due to protein deficiency in this the children are very skinnier and you can see the bones or the rib cage of uh, through their skin so the deficiency of proteins and fats leads to this kind of diseases which are very dangerous deficiency of vitamins each vitamin regulates a specific function of the body and plays a vital role the absence of these leads to several diseases now we'll be seeing a chart of the vitamins and what its deficiency disease leads to the first one is vitamin a if you don't if you have a deficiency of vitamin a it leads to night blindness that is the inability to see in dim light so your bl vision becomes blur vitamin b uh, the deficiency disease is beriberin skin diseases retarded growth and anemia anemia is a uh, low hemoglobin level in your blood vitamin c scurvy scurvy is the sensitivity of your blood and of your teeth and gums scurvy is a makes the gums swell up and bleed so whenever you eat something or uh, brush your teeth the blood comes out of your gums that is scurvy and it is due to the deficiency of vitamin c now vitamin d rickets affects the children's bones making them soft and brittle so even if to even if if they get a see uh, small or little injury their bone their bones break or they may get a fracture so this is the due to the deficiency of vitamin d now vitamin k vitamin k leads to the deficiency disease of excessive bleeding from wounds so if you get a small cut the blood clotting process is slow and your blood you lose your blood very quickly that is excessive bleeding now deficiency of minerals though these minerals are required by the body in small quantities the absence of these minerals in food also leads to, to the deficiency diseases now we will see in this chart what a disease caused by which mineral first one is iron that leads to the deficiency disease of anemia as i told you earlier anemia is the low hemoglobin level in your blood calcium the it leads to the stunted growth rickets and excessive bleeding phosphorus weakness soft bones and brittle teeth so your teeth break easily and you get a fracture easily and you are also weak so it is the deficiency of the mineral phosphorus sodium you get a you get muscular cramps your muscles or your body pains you get cramps very severe and this is due to the lack of mineral sodium in your diet potassium muscle weaknesses paralysis weak nerve responsiveness so if you, weak nerve responsiveness means if your Ner nervous system has not developed the quick response like when you touch a hot thing or a hot vessel how quickly your body reflexes act and you withdraw your hand so maybe due to the deficiency of potassium it it does not your nervous system has not developed and uh, you may have slow reflexes iod so these leads to the diseases like goiter mental retardation and stunted growth children goiter is a disease where your neck gets swollen and uh, it becomes uh, a, like a bag swollen bag so we need to maintain a proper balance and eat a balanced diet so we can be safe from these diseases and uh, make we will be able to live a healthy and safe life so children today we saw all the components of food and you saw the importance of balanced diet and uh, these all these factors will lead you to a better healthy and good body and maintain your immunity so from today thank you